today we're going to take a look around this Broom 42 CL. Built in 2001, this particular example uh, has got a huge spec. Um, too much to list on here, you really do need to check out the website to see everything, but a quick summary, we've got generators, uh, hydraulic folding radar arch, hydraulic davits, uh, please note actually dinghy is not included. Um, We've got fully updated nav kit, uh, Raymarine plotters, radar, autopilot, VHF. Uh, tens of thousands of pounds have been spent on this boat during its current ownership. Um, and she is in lovely condition. So uh, a little bit about the model itself. Um, 49 of these were, were built by Brooms. They started them in 2000, finished in 2007. This one being a 2001, it is one of the earlier ones. Uh, she has got the uh, port side door uh, on the saloon which we'll just have a wander around to so you can see and also a feature that I do really like you've got this little side window perfect when you're at the helm um, for sort of issuing instructions to your crew right let's just get on winds blowing us off okay so first thing you'll see as we walk around big wide side decks got this built-in Fender baskets as well. But it's very easy to get around this boat. I mean, no obstructions at all. If you just look at that deck. Flat with a slight raise as uh, we go towards the aft end. But so often this sort of boat has got steps in it and um, things to trip up and trip over. Uh, Brooms have really thought this through and made it very easy to get around. And there we go. There's that side door I just mentioned. Very handy if you're port side too. Um, uh, ideal for loading gear on board or getting out the boat quickly if you're in the saloon. Canopy's all very recent. Uh, the teak on the steps and the bathing platform is due to be replaced. So ignore it for the moment. Um, it, will be, it will have teak on it uh, very soon and that will be done by brooms. So, we have also got the stainless steel antique tread boarding ladder. Nice uh, feature. Again, well thought out, rope hooks all over. Right, that's enough of the exterior. Let's take a look in the cockpit. Right, so this is the cockpit. You'll see that the upholstery has all been replaced. Um, quite like it. We've got this sort of quilted effects um, on the seat swabs and then the uh, detailing in the backrest as well, along with the broom logo being stitched in as well. So I'm taking a lot of care uh, doing that. Made a very nice job. Uh, what I like about this, the 42 cockpit, we've got this, these three helm seats, um, all of which are adjustable forward and back. Um, so you can, if you, you know, if you're for a family, you can all get in and face forward. Nice visibility. But you have got plenty of space for entertaining. See the fold out table. So it looks quite small at the moment, but you can obviously um, spread it out and uh, uh, dine out here quite comfortably. It is, yes, comfortable, certainly a comfortable cockpit area. So the radar arch itself, uh, I mentioned at the start of the video, the radar arch is um, electric hydraulic, so it can be uh, lowered at the touch of a button. Obviously you have to remove the rear section of the canopy, undo the sides and remove the forward section before you can uh, lower it down, but it doesn't take long to do. It's all quite a simple procedure. And that does bring us on nicely to the forward canopy. We've got the Brooms quick release pram hood. So three buckles that very quickly can be unlocked. And then you take the sides out and then the whole canopy just lifts up and then folds back against the radar arch. Nice and simple. So when the sun's shining uh, and you want to get some fresh air into this cockpit area, you can do it 
in a minute, two minutes. Very simple and very, very, very effective. Uh, engine wise, this uh, uh, this 42 has got the Yamaha engines. Um, and I mentioned we've got a lot of nav kit. We've also got bow thruster. Um, we talked about obviously the flick release, quick release, um, and the hydraulic arch. But we've got bow thruster, stern thruster, updated Raymarine VHF, autopilot, depth and speed logs, cameras, Oh, crikey, this boat has got absolutely everything. Um, and what I have noticed, we've got very handy uh, space there, which looks ideal for a, a cup holder or perhaps a handheld VHF, something like that. But again, dashboards have been upgraded. You know, these are normally like a walnut burr. These have been uh, done in stainless steel. It look, really, looks really good. Re really has modernised the cockpit area. This, the owner is obviously someone that wants things to be right. I mean, looking at all the switches, they've all been recently replaced, so you can actually read what they do. Okay, enough talking. Let's go look down in the cabins. So this is the main saloon. Upholstery's all been replaced, carpets have been replaced. Um, we've also got new flooring, so like an Antico style, teak and holly or walnut and holly floor in the companion way, going to the forward cabin, galley, and then moving aft as well. Headlinings are all really good. And woodwork, from what I've seen so far, so it is a sapili finish and from what I've seen still got a nice rich colour to it also so this boat had every extra every conceivable extra we've got ocean air blinds as well I think I mentioned at the start of the video we've got generator obviously heating um, in the saloon here as well it's a Wabasto heating unit. Loads of storage, crikey. But then you kind of expect that from a broom. Plenty of storage spaces all over the boat. And this is, then we've got this port side door, which, well, you can see how helpful that's gonna be. If you were port side two, not ideal <laughs> where we're moored, but you know, if you're port side two, it's absolutely perfect for uh, getting in and out or getting suitcases in or hold all something like that so you'd have to carry them uh, down the uh, to the back of the boat to get on board so this layout um, it's a fairly standard broom layout with the dinette dinette is a, does of course convert into a double berth um, and when opposite to starboard we've got a large galley forward cabin we've got v berths um, and then sort of forward of the galley we've got a, a toilet and shower compartment it has got ensuite access in the forward cabin and uh, a door access for day head as well. And then if we spin around behind us, we've got the all important aft cabin. And on the 42, it's got a separate toilet and separate shower. We'll come to that shortly. If you're familiar with brooms, it won't come as a surprise seeing all this extra light very bright boats these there's glass everywhere you know, it's certainly a boat you could spend plenty of time on board but okay let's take a step forward and uh, get into this galley and dinette first thing that strikes me with the dinette is it's it's enormous I mean the boat will sleep up to six I mean this dinette will certainly take five six no problem at all um, if it's just four of you on board then cracky you're dining some comfort. But again, more storage above the dinette. And just look, look at the woodwork. This boat's obviously been kept uh, very well and they've kept the screen covers on it to try and minimize any, uh, any sort of fade, sun fading. Normally you see it along here, but look at that. It's all really good. Uh, so galley, sorry. Uh, up, 
again, something new. Uh, we've got a Waco fridge. That's obviously not original. That's been um, updated at some point. We've got a oven grill, three burner gas hob, built-in microwave, and unsurprisingly, plenty of storage. You can see also under here, you've got your generator control. So it's a Fisher Panda generator. It's a four kilowatt, uh, plentiful power um, for a family to use um, whilst they're cruising on the broads or offshore. Let's take a look into the forward cabin. So as I mentioned, it's a V-berth. It's quite a good size. We've got hanging locker, little vanity unit. And a hanging locker on the other side as well. So hanging locker to both port and starboard. But great little room for the kids or second room for guests. A decent length berths. And again, these have all been recovered as well. This is this isn't original, this has all been redone. It's all the headboards and the linings and the uh, berth fronts all been replaced. And we have got that access to the toilet and shower as well so if you have got guests on board or the kids there's no need to disturb anyone else if someone has retired early so we've got electric toilet shower a little bit of storage behind the uh, behind the mirrors there um, and the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice we've got a diverter valve under there as well so we have got uh, the option of uh, discharging to a holding tank or, or to sea let's head aft to our aft cabin. So the aft cabin, a lot bigger than uh, you would expect to see on a 39. So the 42 were basically introduced as a uh, an upgrade on the 39KL um, designed to give you a bit more uh, a bit more space throughout, which unsurprisingly, she's longer, she's wider. But you do really notice it in this half cabin. Excellent headroom. You know, it's ample space to walk around the beds. And uh, yeah, got double hanging lockers here. Got a single hanging locker over on the star uh, starboard side. Um, cracky. Both to port and starboard have got individual lockers and drawers, loads and loads and loads of storage. <clears throat> I have also got another heating unit back here as well. So um, judging by that, I would say there's there's two heaters on board. Um, so again, a lovely feature that uh, you don't have to set the heating at one level and leave it set at that. It can You can you know, adjust the heating to your comfort. Um, and also it means it's far more efficient as well. Now, I promised you a separate shower and toilet and there we have it full standing headroom in the shower nice space a bit of storage space for uh, shower gel shampoos etc and then we have also then got a totally separate toilet compartment as well again you'll notice it's electric toilet with a diverter valve so you've got the option of going diverting from uh, C2 holding or vice versa. And like in the forward tab cabin, all nicely finished. Everything, it, it's, it's, and it's clean, it's smart, it's tidy. I mean, this, this is a boat that is still in use. Um, the owners have uh, only this weekend stopped using it for uh, for the winter. And they, they obviously look after it and they love it. They keep it very, very well. So I'm just going to take you back out to this companionway. We've got, uh, this will be on the starboard side, a big extra locker. Um, some of you who are familiar with the model um, uh, might have seen, uh, we have washing machines in these, uh, this areas before. Um, so they're, they're quite a versatile space. So you can, um, if you're cruising for uh, you know longer distances, they're great for extra storage. Um, I've seen them used as larder storage, but hoovers tend to end up in here because it's a big space. As I said before, you know, people have fitted washing machines in the past as well. So very, very versatile. Great um, if you are going to be cruising any length of time. And um, we have also got a bit of engine access. Apologies, the light's not on. Um, there are engine photos on uh, on the website. But um, you have got a bit of engine access at the stern here as well. So 
OK, so let's give you a quick summary um, of this Broom 42. What can I say? Uh, big, big spec. It's got absolutely everything on it. We've got generators, bow thrusters, stern thrusters, updated nav kit, hydraulic radar arches, hydraulic uh, davits, uh, new upholstery, new carpets, new flooring, uh, canopies relatively recent. I mean, and some of the nav kit I've never seen before. I mean, it's it's got absolutely everything on it. Um, and on top of all that, woodwork's in great condition. It's clearly been loved. Uh, it's a boat that's used, you know, uh, that's not a bad thing. It is certainly, um, I would say in this instance, it's a very good thing. Um, and uh, it's a family boat, um, one that the family clearly love and cherish. It, if you're looking at upgrading, if you want to sink a bit more space or, you know, you've got a family, you're getting new into boating and you want to, you know, go, yeah, you don't want to go for a weekend. You want to go for a week, two weeks. You want to go and enjoy yourself. She's well worth a look. Um, full details on our website, www.mya.co.uk. Um, uh, it should be in the used boat section. And just scroll down to the Broom 42 uh, and take a look. As I say, uh, there's too many extras to list on this video. I bored you enough. Check out the website. And thank you for watching.